Hello, so I'm really excited to show you Easy Animator 1.2. Now, right off the bat, I do want to point out that I did mess up on this button, and also in the About section, it still says version 1.0. So those of you that point that out, thank you so much. But in this case, I do know about them, and I will get them fixed. So in the meantime, let's take a look at the new features in Easy Animator 1.2. So here's uh, the horizontal flip in, and this animation is has says 3D up here in the corner. And what we discovered is it kind of opened a can of worms here. Didn't realize that um, a three true 3D effect is not really supported in SWF output. At least we haven't been able to figure it out. And it does look like it's just not gonna be possible. So whenever it says 3D, it's only gonna export to the MOV format. But the, the effect was so cool that I didn't want to leave it out. Let me show you the difference. Here's flip in with 3D and here's 2D. So it's doing a more pivot around the center there. It's very subtle, and in some graphics, it's very hard to see. But in this one, I just that's why I chose this one. It's a little bit easier to see this as it pivots in versus a 3D effect. So I didn't want to not have that effect just because it's so nice. So, But unfortunately, whenever it says 3D, it only goes out to the MOV format. And when we add GIF, it'll export to GIF also. So um, we did also add some 3D effects in the pause animations. Now I will have 2D versions of these as soon as possible. Again, I did not want to delay the release of this anymore. So everything in the 2D, I'm sorry, in and out is also going to be, in, um, I'm sorry, everything in, in is also going to be in out. We also have this nice little spiral animation that we got in just before we had to get this out to you. And so that's pretty cool as well. Now we've also got some new underlay animations and the underlay animations also come in just a little bit faster so that there's more punchy and really just accentuate the landing on the pause just a little bit better. And so I really, I personally, I really like that. If, uh, I really wanted that in as soon as possible. We also have counterclockwise animations. So uh, thank you for those of you that, that pointed at the need for that out. I can't believe I didn't think of it uh, myself. And let's see, we've also got shift constraining. So we can now hold down the shift key and constrain the size. So that's pretty cool. But the but out in a way, the most important feature is the ability to import SVG images and not only export them to MOV, but now export them to vector resolution independent SWF files. What that means is really just, you know, any collection, let me just find something here. Uh, let me actually do something before I do that. Um, the underlay animations don't look so good in some of these animations here when they're, they have holes in them, if you will, like kind of whiteboard. So I found some whiteboard samples. I just you know went on my hard drive and found some. Now notice that the registration might be a little off. See that box is a little bit, we're gonna see if we can fix that, but that's basically because of the way the person who created this or the, the creator did this, not necessarily the program. But you know you can still do all the fun animations with it, and now what that basically means is all the SVG collections that you have or files you can create or whatever are now animal animatable inside of Easy Animator. So uh, that's very cool. So that is now uh, really the, the, the really kind of completes the uh, the most important thing I really felt that we needed to have before we move on to what's really going to be the features for Easy Animators more official overall launch. Now, right off, let me just say, any of you have purchased the lifetime update to Easy Animator, when you see this uh, and, uh, at the bigger public launch, don't buy it. You've already got access to it, okay? So what I'm about to tell you is something that you still get free access to. So right over here in this section here, we're gonna start, uh, you're gonna start having the ability to import more than one image and animate them together. So, you know, if I take my badge that I had just a second ago, let's go to the desktop here. And if I had this, the icon part of this, maybe the ribbon separate, the, the green circle, the blue circle, I can animate those all separately and have it do an assembly all together. So maybe this blue circle will come from the upper left and maybe this green from the upper right. Maybe this one will come from the bottom, maybe the ribbon over here from the right or whatever. And whatever animation effects you want to use to do that with. So that's uh, pretty cool. Plus you can have each of them do independent pause animations so they can, you know, this one could shake, this one could bounce, this one could, you know, whatever you want. And so that is going to vastly uh, increase the possibilities of Easy Animator. And again, you'll get that for free. So that's going to show up here. So you're going to see little tabs and you're going to be able to set the timing. So in other words, you know, you might want the ribbon to come in, you know, half a second after the this or whatever you wanted. So now another cool thing is scenes, the ability to have more than one of these in, in an animation. So you might want to have like 
this come and you might want to have after it's assembled have some text appear or something like that so now full text support is definitely not going to be in the next version but it is something that we have uh, planned and so uh, that is something that uh, we'll see get in here as soon as possible but, but the main thing here is the ability to animate multiple objects together and get a much richer cooler effect so that's coming as soon as possible and uh, stay tuned for that in the meantime i hope you get a lot out of easy animator 1.2